hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to Cold Mornings Gentlemen Chat. This is uh, Andrew and followed by the rest of everyone. Hey! Perfect. That was great, guys. Thanks so much. <laughs> that was Brock. <laughs> that was Brock and then Thompson just, just spoke and Ryan remains quiet, which is odd. But uh, we're all here. <laughs> Every single person, Joel is uh, absent, and that's okay. And jo uh, Joel has a good reason tonight, so uh, yeah. But don't worry. Next time, it'll be even bigger and better with all five of us. Maybe it only gets better from here. Mm -hmm. Don't make promises we can't keep. I don't know if I'm gonna be able be available next time. Andrew didn't know if he's available. Brock doesn't know if he's available. Well, That's then not it'll true. Just be I me. close at 9.30, and I am golden. Okay, Brock knows. The rest of us don't. Okay. I, I have no idea. There's someone groaning in the background of your, your, your chat, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, it's my brother. He's playing Battlefield. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> wow, that was funny. Okay, anyways, we're getting off track already, you know? That's a good start. Um... How has everybody? How has everybody been this week? Good, busy, as usual, but mm -hmm. good. Uh, also good. Just I'm trying to keep myself busy between work and drawing and uh, just life. Thompson. You're anyway. Uh, I went into work today. I thought I was gonna have a crappy day, but as I walked to the back to clock in, I heard on the overhead. We have an overhead uh, music system. They played uh, the the Battle of New Orleans. You know the song. It's like starts out in 1814. We took a little trip along yeah. with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. No, yes. I, do, I don't know that song. I do it's, know that song. It, I know it, it. It, it. It's a historical song. It's it's about the Battle of New Orleans and the in, in the War of 1812. And well, it, you know it it dragged on to 1814, obviously. Um, Obviously. Well, I mean, everyone knows their basic the, history. Well, that's how the song starts out in 1814, which is a little trip. But I, I love that song. I've loved it ever since I was a kid. Uh, because I... Heads up, I have a history degree, fans. That's little known, or major known fact about Thompson. Um, that boosted my day by like 40%. And then... Halfway through the day, my my job became driving a forklift around and moving shit from one place to another. Did you start thinking about, uh... Rem was it you talking about you wanted to make, like, a kart racing game with forklifts? Yes, I would love to make a, a kart racing game with forklifts. If, if anyone... If anyone knows how to make games and would like to make a car racing game, I could give you details about how to, uh, you know, how to make... Oh god, it'd be a great game. <laughs> okay, well that's that's awesome. Um, anyway, the rest of my day went great. Because I got to drive a forklift for the rest of it. <laughs> um, my day was okay. Or my week has been okay. I got, um... Somebody made me white macadamia nut cookies and I've been eating them, and that's... That's that's pretty awesome. And then I've been playing Modern Warfare three. So Man, you've been playing too much Modern <laughs> Warfare three. I already I got it yesterday and I beat the campaign. Now I gotta I gotta play the multiplayer until I don't have fun anymore. But then I just keep playing it that should be because I have big. nothing because <laughs> I have nothing else to do. But um yeah, so that's that's my that's my week so far and probably my upcoming week. <laughs> Oh. Eating cookies, playing Modern Warfare 3. You know, that's the life. Living the dream. Living the American dream. Um, but yeah, well, that was cool. Should we go uh, talk about what's coming up in Cold Morning? In the in the area of Cold... In the realm of Cold Morning? Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> was that a... Who burped? <laughs> Sorry, that was very ungentlemanly. Um... I guess, okay, then let's go into the cold front, you know, the <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh. Okay. This 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 cold front weather is just getting weirder and weirder all the time. It's it soon. It's no longer like wind or anything. It's just explosions. Or it's like, and now the cold front is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, cold front. Uh, so did it, uh, did you see the latest um, Loaded Complete, starring everyone's favorite Nathan Drake? Yeah. Yes. What thoughts? It's funny. It's funny. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty laughable. I liked it. You know, you know what caught me off guard the second time I watched it? What? You said, what the part where you say, sometimes I'm just not as fresh as I should be. You're, <laughs> you're pointing to your dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, my favorite part is um, <laughs> when I'm talking about the running shoes, and then, I, then it's like, it ain't no Buena, and then I look off and I'm like, what? And then it all explodes in front of me. That's my favorite part. <laughs> but um, enough about what's what's happened in the past. Let's look toward the future. And in the future, hopefully next week, there's going to be a new video game show. Um, the week after that, a new loading complete, I'm, I'm hoping. And then in the middle of those two weeks... Uh, there's going to be uh, a little project that I'm working on, and uh, it's to celebrate a certain day that a lot of people don't really know about, and I need to raise awareness of it. I, I, I certainly one, had no idea what it was when you were talking about it. the 20th of November? Yeah, it is, but a lot of people don't know about it, so until they watch my video. And that's, that's about it from uh, Cold Morning. What about uh, personal projects? Anyone have anything that they uh, want to plug or anything like that? I've already, I've already done it the past two weeks. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm gonna be posting a new, a new blog post on my thing, and then also, um, okay, well, the last time I was on this speaking. I had mentioned that I had purchased a flip, and I've and I've used it twice. And the first time, they they they've both been trips to the store, and it's really just recording me in the car. And uh, so the first time it wasn't that funny because I was uncomfortable and I thought it was stupid that I was talking to nothing. Mm -hmm. But then the second time I tried harder to get past that but so <laughs> yesterday was it yesterday yes. yesterday was yesterday is tuesday today's wednesday right yeah today's uh yeah. well we're recording on wednesday i don't know when this is gonna come out but okay okay okay, okay. <laughs> so yesterday um oh wait right, wait let me let me go back just a little bit further so saturday rachel and i went to Halton City, which is south of Keller, and uh, and we discovered a like an Asian supermarket, and we went in as super super awesome because it w it was like going to a different world, mm -hmm. basically. And so yesterday I went back there to buy just random <laughs> and yeah. um. So like you go into this shopping complex, it's 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 like a complex, I guess. It's not really a center. It's more of like because the the parking is anyway. It's weird, but so like I'm sitting there in the in the in the middle of the parking lot and I'm looking around. I'm reading all the businesses and there's a, a bunch. There's like uh, Dr. Andy's Chiropractic. Which is right next to a Vietnamese video and music store, and then there's a uh, there's this one cafe called uh, Cafe Du Maine, mm -hmm. which I guess is like a Vietnamese play on Cafe Du Monde in New Orleans, <laughs> and it was it was kind of like it was at that time I I just finished my coffee and like 
I thought it was ridiculous, and I I had just left the the Asian supermarket, and I was like, you know, I I I could go to for a, for a cup of coffee, and thinking, you know, this is a cafe, I, they're not gonna expect me to come in and sit down and like get a full meal, and stay and eat and all that other stuff. I'm just gonna get a cup of coffee, and so I'm walking down there, and the door is like cracked open ever so slightly, and you can hear a bunch of commotion, and Vietnamese music playing, I guess, um, but, so as I'm walking up, I start passing by the windows, and all the windows are blacked out, like, not tinted, like, blacked out to the point where you can't see and you can't see out, and so, um, I was like, well, that's kind of weird, and I open the door, and as soon as I step in, it's, it was like, it was like one of the scenes... It was it was it was like a scene from a movie when a total foreigner walks into the complete wrong place <laughs> and the entire room is like dead quiet and is just like oh my god what have I done and so that's exactly what happened to me I, I opened the door and it, there's like there's like 25 people in this thing in this place and it smells like super mentholated cigarettes and booze and stuff like that and I walk in and everyone every single person is looking directly at me because I'm the only white dude there it's like why are you here what have you done pretty much and so I was sitting there and, and, and in my head I'm like I can't just turn around and leave that would be weak of me <laughs> <laughs> and so and so I just go coffee and I hold, I like do like a, like I pantomime a coffee cup to my lips, and then like ten of the people go, yeah, 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 and uh, so I walk in a little bit further, and then the one lady there, um, I, have you have you guys ever seen Southland TV show? Uh, uh, no, no. Anyway, okay, well, the drug cartel in Southland. The maf like the mafioso boss of it is this old Hispanic woman, and the lady in the cafe I was at is the Vietnamese equivalent to that. <laughs> like she looks just like, like she looks like she could beat me up. <laughs> That's and, interesting. And so like, she's like, "What do you want? What do you want?" And I was like, "Uh, just coffee." And she was like, "Milk." And I was like, "No, no, no." And she's. It, it, it like in between her intermittent English is yelling Vietnamese at the other people because everyone else is playing a game and it's like there's like a low ceiling of cigarette smoke just like kind of floating above everyone it, I mean it was like it was like going into a back room of some restaurant and finding like a bunch of dudes playing Russian roulette like it was it, it, it was weird, and so they're all playing a game I've never seen before, with some cards and like a few checkers pieces, and then like some mahjong pieces as well. And so she pours me the coffee, and like you wouldn't be able to get any food in there anyway. And so as I as I turn around, everyone is still just piercing gaze on me and I'm looking around and everyone has a cigarette in their hand and there's a no smoking sign in the restaurant <laughs> and like I'm walking out and uh, basically I see the no smoking sign and I'm drinking my coffee which is it w <laughs> which came from a water bottle <laughs> like I was uh, okay so I was watching her pour the coffee out of oh, of a nondescript water bottle like, it didn't have any markings on it, it was just, like, a black liquid in a water bottle, and so you put ice in there, and then poured the coffee, and then, like, shook it up like you would a, like, a mixed drink at a bar, and then, and then she, she, like, she trolled me a little bit, I think, because she stuck the straw in, it was a styrofoam cup, she struck, she, she, she stuck the straw in, but, like, all the way through the bottom of the cup, but just enough where it formed a perfect seal 
around it, so it wasn't leaking. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I have my cup of coffee. My it's cold, and I turn around, and then I see the no smoking sign, and everyone's smoking, and then I kind of laugh, which I shouldn't have done because, <laughs> like, like the commotion started getting louder, and I couldn't I couldn't understand what they were saying. And so I was like, well, I'll just go, and I just, like, I think it was, like, $2 for the cup of coffee, and I left the five, like, just a $5 bill, and I just walked off. And, um, and so, as I, as, as I get out, I start, like, trying to, trying to drink it through the straw, and nothing, it's just air, and so, like, I pull it out, <laughs> pull the straw out, and then all the coffee oh, <laughs> spills no. on, spills onto my jeans and, like, <laughs> shoes and stuff. <laughs> and... I was thinking, what just terrible people, like, <laughs> I mean, how cruel. And Man, I, I bet they were waiting for someone, it's like, I can't wait till someone just comes in here and we I just- can't. I wait till Whitey comes in, I wait till Whitey. <laughs> oh no. And, no. I just, like, I was thinking, I was, I was out five dollars, and like the story should have been a lot, a lot more than it was, but it was just like one of the strangest experiences. Because like that's something like the whole room stopping and looking at you is like something out of a movie. Because I've never actually had that happen to me before. I've been in a lot of weird places, but never once a place that the entire room stops and like you instantly feel 100% unwelcome <laughs> just just from their eyes yeah it's just like it was it was just a weird weird experience and like all the tables in there had like just weird like weird random game pieces that i guess like only only they know how to play with them like it's a it's it's like a half deck of cards and like some chess pieces and other weird marbles and shit and like I don't know what you do with that. Maybe they were, like, they even... made up a game. I guess so, but then I was thinking like what else could these guys be involved in if they're at this cafe smoking and drinking some kind of coffee liquor because I mean you 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 could smell like just pungent alcohol. Hmm. And it was eleven. In, it was it was it was eleven in the morning. And I was like, "What else could these guys do other than be in a gang? Like, they must run the Vietnamese gang, whatever whatever that equivalent is around does, these areas." Does Texas have a Vietnamese gang? I don't know, but I mean, like, they had like, I mean, most of them are wearing sunglasses inside, and it's already a blacked out room. Like, you can't. I mean, they had lights on in there, but they were all wearing sunglasses, and, like, the lady that served me coffee was wearing sunglasses, and they well, they were probably ready to pull a gun out and shoot me at any moment. <laughs> Vietnamese I mean, Yakuza. Yeah, I mean, whatever that, whatever that equivalent is. And so, that was, that was my yesterday. So would you, to... would you consider going again? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I had, like, backup, you know, but even then we may, you know, both both get it. Maybe this is all a test to see if you're actually going to go back, and then when you go back in, they're like, hey, yeah, it's maybe. you. Well, see, the weird thing is, is that there there were there were several restaurants there, and, I, and I, had, I had a choice between, you know, between two of them. One was called... Pho 95 and the other one was the cafe and I was looking at Pho 95 and they had a bunch of stuff on the window and it said like you know coffee and soup and stuff like that and I was like well that's obviously a restaurant and I would feel like an asshole if I went in there and like they expected me to like get a meal mm -hmm. but I only got a cup of coffee to go or my choice is a cafe, and I was thinking, they'll probably take cafe to the most literal sense. Cafe being coffee, and like, you know, because... Anyway, I should have made the other choice. Should have gone to Fun 95. It's okay. Broken their, their dreams. <laughs> Just been a dick.
Yeah, and it's like, just give me some coffee and don't kill me. <laughs> well then, so, what, what was the flip camera for? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so, cycling back to, to the original point. Let's go back 15 minutes. So, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so I had the flip camera not on me because how bad would that have been if I walked into their cafe with a, with a video camera like hey guys I'm, I'm just a stupid American living my life in my own country but um so I was like I was like well you know I'll try and document my my trip down there because going to Halton City is like a good 30 minute drive no mm -hmm. no it's less than that but so I was just, like trying to talk about stuff on the way down there, and then on the way back up to Keller, I had a lot to talk about because I talked I talked about the Asian supermarket and the crazy freaking Vietnamese gang that I ran into, and then I was what I was originally gonna say at the very beginning was I'm gonna start making video posts <laughs> <laughs> on my blog or something along those lines because now I have a flip camera and they'll probably be, be on the same level of entertainment as what I just told you, which will be not very much. Actually, <laughs> um, I was thinking, I was tossing around the idea of what if we had a second channel just of like um, either just like small blog posts from all of us or I was I, I recently came into um... I got software to do kind of like a, a screen, like a screen capping software. So say if I played a game online, and or uh, we were also tossing the idea around of uh, Brock and I are gonna play Amnesia. One playthrough is me, like the first ten minutes, and the other playthrough is the first ten minutes with Brock. And, oh God, um, it's gonna be so bad. And so <laughs> I, I'm. I mean, that could probably be used for the main channel, but anything else, just like maybe more um, personal blog type stuff, um, tossing the idea around of like a Coma Pro, like either Coma Pro 2 or Coma Pro Dose, something like that. Um, I don't know. It's just an idea, and um, if you guys are up for it, and also we can extend this question to anyone listening, uh, if you would see or would like to see more stuff, like of our lives, just more like personal lives and stuff like that. Uh, leave us a comment. Think or think of. Uh, give us ideas of like what would you like to see us do? You know, and because um, I mean. Have a story. Okay. Do you want to say right now? I would love to. Okay. So at my job, I work at a um, big box home improvement store. And, uh, our... <laughs> Ryan, I will expect you to bleep that in the final product. You can't, you can't say where you work. Exactly. There are millions of beeps around, and <laughs> they, they don't expect you to, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. There's just a lot of them, that's the point. I mean, that's Okay, what... I expect you to bleep that. Okay. I, I will, don't worry. Okay, so... Don't bleep it. I'll bleep my... that. <laughs> I'll bleep you. My supervisor is a stupid, passive-aggressive manager. Instead of telling me what to do when I show up in the morning, I have notes left in my locker. You know, you know how when you're a roommate in college and you think... The worst roommate possible will write little notes and leave them on the door for me to find. That's my manager. He what leaves notes it? on my locker. What a cool guy. Not really, but... So the other day, he leaves me a note. It says, Hey, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Kill the... Statutory Bay and create a, a shelf for the tree stands because we have these Christmas trees coming in. 
statutory. S T A T O R Y. Statute. No, wait. S T A T U T O R R Y. Anyway, fuck it. Statutory. And I, I looked at it and I was like, okay, is statutory. Statu statutory rape? Is that, what, is that how he spelled it? No, that's how he spelled it. Statutory means anything defined by statute. Right. You know, law, statute. A formal, it's like a, it's like a written, in, a written enactment, basically. Exactly. Thank you, Andrew. I looked at it once and said, okay, obviously he means statuary, which means a group or collection of statues or something <laughs> pertaining to statues. Mm-hmm. But the fact remains that he's a f***ing idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he sounds like one. And he wrote statutory in this note. <laughs> like, you... if he had misspoke it, I would have been like, hey, don't you mean statuary? But no, he wrote it in writing. God. So I cannot forgive him. And it's f***ing ridiculous, and I hate him. Did you leave him a note back and it just says, I can't rape the day. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then say, also, your shelf is done. <laughs> <laughs> no, that probably get fired. Anyway. I, I, I did more or less what he asked. I didn't rape the day, but I, I fixed it. Well, that's good. <laughs> But I hate where I work because all of my f***ing managers are stupid like that. Yeah, that tends to be the case. You gotta and be I... like me. And not work. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to, to make known that that I work in a, a place like that where just stupidity abounds and I have no no place to flourish. Yeah. I hate my life. <laughs> well, let's go on to the next section. <laughs> yeah, that so, got real depressing right there at the end. Whatever you know, I, the ending section is. I think, um... I think the cold friend section kind of blended into or morphed into the middle section because we just spent, like, 20 minutes just talking about stuff, so I don't, I don't want to... Make Sorry this like if, uh... no no no. I mean it was in I, I I was I was interested in what you were saying, and um, no I mean if else is <laughs> Shh, don't don't say that. I was. Thank you. But um, yeah, I was like not. Shut up. <laughs> Bring it back to the idea of like if people want to see like more personal sides of our our lives other All than right. this podcast, um, uh, let us know. And, um, I think from here, because we kind of just had a venting session and an adventure told to us, I guess we can go, let's go ahead and just wrap it up with, um, with, um, some questions that, well, a question that one person sent to us, and also, um, well, I guess two questions. One that's been asked about us for a while now, and then we'll go on to the last one. But, uh... <clears throat> Uh, one question that a lot of people have asked is about us and normal boots. Um, and the thing is, uh, we are not on normal boots anymore, as people can tell. We are not, um, you can't, I don't know if you can access any of our videos on normal boots anymore. And, uh, <laughs> um, the, the reason was, is, um, or the reason, yeah, the reason is, um, at the time, like we've said before, we're not, uh, together as a group. We're not easily, we can't easily, um, make content, um, with all five of us. And so we, uh, we told Normal Boots we're in this situation, but... We'll try to come up with something new with the limited resources that we had, and that's when we came up with a video game show. And um, showed it to them. They were like, oh, we, we would really like normal boot, or we would really like loading complete. And I was like, well, 
I don't know if we're, we're going to be able to produce that in a timely manner. And then from there, um, uh, we decided that it would be best to part ways. And, I mean, uh, Normal Boots is, is a good site, and we got a lot of people from it. And I, I think that's something that we can all be grateful for, is because we have fans to actually talk to and fans that actually watch our stuff, and that's a plus. But um, uh, we're not going to uh, be stuck in the past, and we want to look toward the future. And so we still want to make content for you. Uh, we still want to take the time out to try to get a new load to complete, to try to make a video game show, even even to do stuff like um, the June Scriber Month. Do something new. Do something that's not video game related. And um, that's what we're trying to aim toward. And um, so, yeah, that, that is our situation as a whole. And, um, yeah, there's, there's your answer for people, for, for everyone who is curious. And then the next question uh, comes, from a, comes from a guy that we know and love, and that is Michael Farah. Oh, yeah. And um, pardon me while I actually look up the question. I'm sorry. How unprofessional. Okay, here it is. It is a somewhat serious question, that's what he prefaces it with. When did I become a running gag? I'm actually curious. And, um, does anybody want to take this one? Uh, because I was already talking for a good three minutes or something like that. I'd rather I, not. I got <laughs> this one. I got okay. this one. Okay, you take it. 70% yeah. of this podcast has been me talking. <laughs> <laughs> About your Vietnamese adventures. Um, Michael Farrow, you're not a running joke. You're our number one fan. You've been there from day one. And so we want to thank you by making you uh, an important feature in our show. That's pretty much that. Yeah. Uh, I, I would like to add that. Yeah, that is true what Brock said. Michael Farrow, you are... You are it. You are probably like the uh, most influ well, yeah, influential, <laughs> influential fan because you actually give us feedback, and that um, it's that I uh, or I think all of us that we is constructive and it's it's you are you are the voice of many almost, and um, you make thank us, you. you. You make us feel important. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. So keep doing that. Keep doing Let's... what you're doing and follow your heart. And be the mess, best Michael Fair you can be. Never and, give up. Trust and always mistake. pretend like you're wearing a cape. Yeah, well, no, it's not pretend. It's walk like you're wearing walk a cape. Walk like Get you're it. wearing a cape. Hey, Get I'm sorry. It right. Okay. But, um, it's so those were the cape. questions. And, uh, I think... That, that's it for questions, and I guess that wraps it up for for us. Um, any Anyone have anything inspirational to say before we head out? Um. Oh, wait. I uh, We have this follower on Twitter, like Ivan22something something or other. Mm -hmm. That's not a very good name. Um, anyway, he has been Cut that very... part out, too. <laughs> uh, anyway, he's been, uh, interested in playing a, like, some sort of game with us, or just... The fact that he's communicating with us is really cool, so if you want to play a game with us, our information is out there, and you can play a game with us. We've been playing Gears of War... Ryan's been playing way too much Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, that's uh, true. I play Resident Evil 5. Yes, yeah, so no. if you play Resident <laughs> Evil 5, Thompson will love you, and if you don't go to Pat, <laughs> Andrew will love you. <laughs> I, you can't say those things, Brock! Please, 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 please. Man, please. I so, had... I, I had a guy come in, sorry for dragging this on longer, but we closed at 10, and right as I was about to close the last register, this dude comes in at 9.50 and orders two lasagnas for himself. Our lasagnas are pretty big, 
but two lasagnas for himself at 9.50. Who needs that much lasagna that late at night? Like I, I need this for reasons. And then, and then he stayed till like almost 10.30. And I'm like turning the music off and like dimming the lights and stacking all the chairs around and I was like, dude, we're closed. Go home to your family if you have one. <laughs> and that about wraps it up. I hope everyone has a great week. <laughs> and... <laughs> someone crying? Yeah, I think Tom's is crying. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, laughing. <laughs> laughing so I cry. So I think that I think that'll wrap it up for us, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I know it was a little long, but uh, we had a lot to say, and I hope hopefully it was it was interesting. And we'll see you next time, and be sure to check out uh, our newest stuff. Also, um, leave a comment. Uh, uh, positive or negative about uh, what what you've listened to, and um, be sure to tell everyone about Cold Morning. And also give us a like or a thumbs up; it really helps us out. Exactly. Also, also, if you made it this far, just go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back and a high five to yourself. Yeah. All yeah, right. Thanks, thanks for sticking around. It really helps us out. All right. So, see you later from me. <laughs> everyone else and I guess that's it <laughs> bye 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 I'm Joel <laughs>